Today, we're excited to spotlight Neil DeBlock, uh, Vice President and Head of Workers' Compensation at Zurich North America. Uh, founded in 1872, Zurich is a global insurance leader employing over 55,000 people in more than 215 countries and territories. Uh, since 1990, Zurich North America has been a valued member of WCRI, and Neil serves on our board of directors. Neil has been with Zurich since 1996, where he's held several key roles, including assistant vice president and line of business director. Uh, before joining Zurich, he built a strong foundation in the insurance industry with experience at companies such as uh, New Jersey Manufacturers Insurance, Aetna Property and Casualty, and General Accident Insurance. Neil, how are you today? I'm good, thank you, Andrew. We're so glad to have you. Uh, as with every member spotlight, uh, we ask you four insightful questions. And so uh, we'd love to jump right into that. Uh, first, how okay. did you first hear about WCRI? Well, it's funny, you know, um, I go pretty far back in the industry as you can tell from what you spoke about going back to 1990 when I first came in. And I think when you first come in the industry, um, you spend more of your time learning about insurance, learning about handling claims. You don't focus so much on on the industry uh, organizations. It's more about getting that first hit in your job, you know? Right. And yeah. um, I think when I finally came to Zurich in 1990, 96, I'm sorry, 96, um, I think that I, in a home office role at that time, it became more prevalent to me as to what those organizations do. And WCRI was at the forefront of things that are happening out there. Um, so that's kind of when I first heard about WCRI, I was involved in their studies and reading about that. As a matter of fact, I uh, actually met Rick Victor once in our, our, our Florham Park office back at the yeah. time. Uh, he came down for a meeting and I was absolutely lucky, lucky to meet him at that time. Yeah, our former, uh, uh, the founder of WCRI and the former executive director, uh, Rick Victor. Yeah, that's great. And, and so what So what value, obviously you've been around WCRI for a long time. What value do you gain uh, from being a WCRI member? I mean, the data is just, the data that comes out of WCRI is just amazing to me. Uh, the work they do on research, um, all of that helps us when it comes to making some of our policy decisions. Um, we can go out there and do it on our own. We have lots of data, obviously, because we're a large, large organization. Right. But getting the data from you guys, which combines data from other companies, really helps us uh, get better outcomes for both our employees and our employers, which... I mean, in insurance, I, I always laugh about, you know, people ask, what do you do for a living? And I say, I help people because right. I do, you know, we have injured workers and our goal is to help them get back to being uh, back to work and back to uh, where they were pre-injury. So, you know, we help people and your data helps people. Not a bad job to have. It's not. And, and Neil, what's your favorite WCRI study or research area? Wow, there's so many. Um, you know, I, I think... To me, comp scope benchmarking is probably the yeah. best one for us. I mean, it offers so much detail around all the different states and these insights that we get from that into different cost drivers, uh, system performances, and trends. It right. uh, helps us so much that um, you know the depth and breadth of that data is just so incredible that we couldn't do it on our own. And with what you give to us, it really helps us out in doing that. Um, and that, that to me is probably the best one that we use most often. Uh, I know it okay. goes in year from year to year, so it's consistently helping us out. And is there is there an example you can share with us of where WCRI's research was particularly helpful to you in in your in your maybe your career or or just a you know a point in wow, time when you were working? You know, there's so much. Um, I think the most beneficial, to be honest, is it's an older one now. Is yeah. uh, opioid opioid use in workers' compensation, and right. I'm using that one because. Um, we know, you know, recent research is great. We're not sure how it's going to go yet. You know, if I, you said recent research, I'd say, hey, a lot of this current studies on your heat and weather related stuff was very important to us. But that's so new. We'll see where it goes. But to me, the right. opioid stuff is so much more important because we were able to take that, look at it, institute programs here at Zurich, along with our, uh, our pharmacy providers um, yes. to really crack down and really, really help out our claimants in getting off these opioids. And uh, and that, for the long-term costs alone, and then the prescriptions, and then, you know, the, the benefit to the claimants, once again, how we help them out. That, to me, is probably the biggest study for us that we used, you know, currently. Like I said, some of the recent ones, like the heat stuff and weather-related related claims, um, I think going forward, it's going to be a huge one for you as well. 
I think that's uh, that's a great point. Obviously, uh, our prescription drug research, right, which identified how doctors were prescribing opioids across states. You know why in certain states where doctors prescribing uh, very uh, strong opioids uh, for one for for an injury, and for the same injury in other states they prescribe uh, an ibuprofen, right? And and obviously the the dangers of opioids uh, getting addicted. Uh, can have very uh, devastating outcomes, and so preventing uh, preventing and getting into the wrong unnecessary prescribing of those opioids is is, is so important. Absolutely, and what's nice between part of WCRI is so many of our um, partners out there, whether it be other insurance carriers or vendors, are all involved with you guys as well. Right, we have the opportunity to work together to talk about these things at times during your. Um, your yearly meeting, um, which is coming up uh, in March in in, in Phoenix. And, right. Uh, thank you. Things like that really, really help us out. I mean, it's that it's that I think the things you gain from being part of the organization to me, uh, you can't put a price on. To be honest, it's just, it's invaluable to us as an organization. Um, I think that you know, from a Zurich standpoint, I think we've been since, since 1990 a part of your organization. That's correct. Right. Um, been a great relationship the entire time, as you mentioned, I'm on the board of directors now for the past couple of years, which gains even further insight from myself. And it also allows us as an organization to be part of planning for what, what you guys are going to do research on. I mean, we have input, as do all members uh, right. have input in what's going to, what we're going to talk about. So I think those are the type of things that really help um, the industry as a whole, help our, help our claimants, and also help uh, our insurers. Well, thank you, Neil, for sharing your insights with us today and for Zurich North America's ongoing support of WSRI's research now and, and into the future. Oh, no, my pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.